A task force launched today at Sandwell Council House heard female genital mutilation has been illegal for 30 years, yet hundreds of new cases were found in the West Midlands in recent months. Sarata Jabi is a survivor of FGM. She was just seven years old when she was cut. All right there, we were seated in the living room while the quarter was outside at the uh, backyard uh, with her team. And uh, when it was time for the quarter to start, her job, one of the ladies came in to the living room and uh, took my younger sibling to the quarter. And then uh, she was caught. I heard her screaming, but I didn't take anything seriously. I was thinking because um, she's a baby. You know, babies are bound to cry anytime. And uh, from there, they took the second one. I was the third youngest. And uh, when I was taken outside there, I saw my two siblings lying in full of blood, crying. And uh, I knew that there is something wrong here. Because I don't know anything about FPM. We are not told about it. So that's the time I wanted to run away, but there was no chance for me because uh, two of the ladies had to cut me and then bring me to the cutter. They blindfold me and then uh, pin me on the ground and uh, hold my legs and my hands, and the cutter started to cutting my face. You know. And uh, this was very, very painful. It's extremely painful. It's one of the painting I've ever enjoyed in my life. Serata is not alone. Hospital figures show there were more than 632 new cases in the West Midlands in the past seven months. The Crime Commissioner, David Jameson, condemned the practice as child abuse, which should not be treated with cultural sensitivity. Well, the practice of FGM is a truly dreadful crime, and the police will treat this as child abuse, which is what it is. What we've done is, in the recent years, we've put far more police officers now on personal protection. We had 300 at one time, and now got 800. They're looking at all the wider issues to do with personal protection and people, including domestic violence, but FGM will be a priority for the police. He said education was key in eradicating FGM. The practice is mainly from uh, Central Africa, the people who are coming to the West Midlands uh, from Somalia and other Central African countries. Um, what we need to do as well is to look at um, groups that are going out into Central Africa to actually provide some education backup in those countries. Very difficult in a country country like Somalia of course, uh, which is uh, a war-torn country with, with terrorism abounding uh, in that country, but when they come here uh, I think it needs to be spelt out to people very clearly that this is illegal in this country and if they're caught they will have action taken against them with very severe penalties. Today a task force was launched involving organisations from law enforcement, justice and health care which have joined together to end the abuse. Uh, we'll take any evidence we have that we know uh, that people are cutting uh, children and carrying out this horrendous practice. And if we can, we will bring prosecutions against those people. But most of all, we're working with uh, local authorities, with schools, uh, with the health service, uh, trying to identify people and uh, bring prosecutions where we can. But I think in the longer term, this is going to be a program of education and getting this uh, practice stamped out as a cultural uh, practice right across the West Midlands. Serata hopes now a dialogue has begun, the end of FGM is in sight. Lots of these women came forward and they started talking about their problems because most of them they've got problems in terms of FGM but they don't know how to say it, they don't know how to start it. They don't know that there is a, there is a help out there, you know, there's a support, they don't know about those things. So they are dying in silence, but because we started this campaign, we at least we we are trying to make some change. Although the full change has not yet taken place, but we are hoping that there will be change one day. Jennifer Myrons for the Midland in Sandwell.